Hi, today I like to talk about using the uh, CR scan author in wireless mode. There are two ways that you can use the author wirelessly. Uh, one is connect it to the phone, and you can use the Clarity Scan mobile app, which run on the Android and iPhone. Process the scanning data. It means that you need to connect a USB-C cable from the scanner to the phones okay okay and now it's connected you can start the scan the phone will power the scanner see it's already on see the green line all you have to do is get a handle for both the phone and the scanner uh, here's the quarter inch thread a handlebar a phone holder and there is a, a mounting hole quarter inch thread mounting hole here this is a quarter inch ball joint, as has two joints here. It's the Ulanzi R102. Now you can screw in the thread to the scanner. Uh, this USB-C cable, I take it out from uh, external drive, so it's very fast. Connect it here. Okay. Scanner now, scanner is connected. Uh, let's scan something just to show you the speed of the scanning, not the whole scan. Sorry for the mess here. Uh, I try to scan this part of the motorcycle. Uh, new scan, large object, uh, geometry, high quality, start scan. Uh, this is not a flagship phone, so it's a start. Okay, now you can scan the author with the uh, phones easily you don't need to get a, a bridge Wi-Fi that's very expensive if you intend to use it on the phones then uh, this is uh, okay yes yeah, it is slower than connecting to the PC with with a wire see just an example see okay second method is that you connect your other with a wi-fi bridge and this wi-fi bridge will connect to the pc computer so it will use the processing power from the pc to do the scanning this wi-fi bridge handle comes with a laptop so it will not uh, include the cable to connect with the Water. So what you have to do is get a USB-C to USB-A cable. Uh, this one comes uh, with the NVMe drive that I use, so it's high speed. And if you connect it uh, to your uh, PC, before you use the cable, you need to check if the cable is connected to the PC with the USB 3 speed. Uh, this is the quick release plate that comes with the Laptor X. I also have the other. I made this quick release plate clone. I scan it with the Laptor and then I draw in CAD and print with the PLA carbon fiber. On the front here, I use the adhesive rubber pad uh, so it has some grip. And this is a uh, Quarter thread. I think Clarity don't mind if uh, you print your own uh, quick release plate because they don't sell this on the uh, store. Or if you lost it, then you can't attach this one to the uh, handlebar. The only way to get this is to buy another bridge Wi-Fi handle, which costs <laughs> a lot of money. So if you have both the laptop and the author, I put a download link in the description. You should print with a strong uh, filament. Uh, this one is the uh, PLACF, and uh, you need to remove the support here. You see, uh, when you remove it, uh, be careful not to cut yourself like I did. It's worked pretty well, I'll show you. And then you can connect this to the handle. It's not moving at all. And then you connect the USB A cable here okay, to make a scan. Turn on here. See, wait until it brings. Okay, it's, now it's blinking. You connect to the Wi Fi. Ready scan pocket, connect. 
Okay, now it's uh, connected. Then I will connect my phones a little bit more step than connect it uh, to the phone app. You need to, uh, you don't need to disable the mobile data anymore. You just connect it to the handlebar. Okay, this scan pocket, now it's connected. So you start a new project. I'm going to scan that motorcycles again in geometry. Okay, now uh, it's ready for scanning. To mirror the screen from here to here, you need to uh, open this QR code. And then I'm not being able to use the stock QR code reader on this phone to scan it. But I can use Google Lens. See here. Google Lens will just work right off the box. I don't know why. Now it's ready for uh, mirror the screen. Uh, then uh, I need to put it on uh, a phone bracket because the power buttons here usually I put it down and then I mount it to the phone let's go outside and scan it okay with this uh, second method you are for you need to have both the phone and the PC to do the scanning I get about 14 frames per second Uh, 253 megabit per sec a link speed so it's a uh, half the speed uh, when you connect it to the wire but it's a lot more convenient when you need to walk around the scan object see here it's quite bright, but it's not in the direct sunlight. Oh, I can't, I can't do the full scan, but I will show you a full scan in my next video. But uh, it's just to show you how you can connect the author in uh, using it wirelessly. See, we have uh, 15 frames per second, no dropping. But uh, yeah, uh, faster than the phone. But uh, you can't. You need to take the the laptop with you. And I'm about uh, ten meters away from the laptop. One uh, drawback is that when you pause it, you can't zoom in, zoom out, and orbit. I hope that they can fix this in the software update. Okay, just to show an example. So when you disconnect it, you need to go back to your PC to uh, rescan the QR code to mirror the image to your phone again. That should have add some buttons here that you can click and then it reconnect to the PC. But there's no button. You need to walk back. You need to walk back to PC for reconnecting. Comparing the scanning with the mobile app and scan with the uh, bridge Wi-Fi handle. After scanning, you can start processing uh, the point cloud. But uh, with the mobile app, you need to transfer it to your PC before you can uh, process the point cloud. Okay, whatever uh, is uh, more convenient to you. Okay, this Wi-Fi bridge handle costs around 285 USD and this uh, setup, so if you don't have any of this, uh, it will probably cost you about 20 US dollar. You can have this and then have your phone and then you can scan the sculpture. So sometimes, so if I have bought a quick release plate installed on both laptop and the other, it's easier. It's easier to uh, swap between these two with the handle. So I can put this all in a one case and switching between these two will be much easier okay thanks you guys for uh, watching i'll see you in the next video